Hey folks, how's it going? This is Dominic here from Aragon. Welcome to this edition of the Fish of the Week. This week we're going to take a look at a LinkedIn phishing campaign that's been hitting our customers. And this email uh, is pretending to be coming from LinkedIn saying that uh, somebody has put has posted an endorsement for you. Of course, as any good uh, social user here, I'm probably interested to find out uh, you know, what this person had to say about me. So what we'll do this week is we'll actually take a look at this email as well as the credential harvester that's set behind the email. So let's start with the email. So here the email, uh, you know, seems pretty simple, right? Saying that somebody has posted uh, a message about you and uh, you should go check it out. So when we look at the sender here, what we'll notice is that it's actually not coming from LinkedIn. The link is using a service, in this case, from a this.us that masquerades the link uh, that actually helps defeat uh, email security devices because what they see is that the link it belongs to a known service, uh, not always looking at what's behind or the uh, query string arguments of that string. As well as when we look at the email authentication components of that email, we'll notice that it passes SPF and DKIM, which probably which is a good indication that the mailbox itself was compromised. Uh, when we look at the details of the detection, uh, in this case here, this message was actually uh, actually passed through uh, a current set of defenses that our customer had deployed, and it passed with uh, you know clean across the board. So the anything that had to do with the anti-spam, the anti-phishing, the anti-malware, the anti-anything, uh, totally missed it here. So when we look at the credential harvester, so if we were to tap on that link, is that it'll take us to a page that asks us to log into LinkedIn. Uh, the page, what we call these uh, pages pixel perfect because they look exactly like the actual LinkedIn pages. Uh, you'll even notice that the attacker here took the time to uh, get a Let's Encrypt certificate so you get a little green lock on top there. Of course, if you're looking at the URL, you'll notice that it's not LinkedIn, but often people overlook that or if they're looking at their mobile devices, they may completely miss that. So we'll go ahead and fill in our, uh, our login information into that page here. And once we hit sign in, what it does, it simply sends you back to the LinkedIn page and you know has passed your credential back down to the attackers here. So why do these attacks work? Well, from the first uh, part here, the email looks pretty good. Like I said, the login page is pixel perfect. The little green lock shows up. So you know that helps lower uh, you know all the alarms on my side and you know making more likely to uh, fill in my information here. Uh, and again, as we saw, the email came from a compromised account. So anything around the authentication component, uh, you know, passed through here. So why does this work? Well, as you know, as anybody, you know, I'm always curious to see who is, uh, you know, communicating with me, especially if somebody's posting something about me. So the attackers are taking advantage of that. You know, they really want to make sure that, uh, you know, you have this fear of missing out and you'll click on the link and log in to see what's going on. So how do we get ahead of these uh, phishing campaigns? Well, one, we, want, we need technology that can proactively crawl the internet. So understand how attackers work, understand the different campaigns that are being set up there, such that when these campaigns do show up at your front door, you can, you can block those, right? So all this crawling allows us to create advanced detection technologies, right? Like I said, you need to go beyond the authentication, right? So the reputation of the sender is uh, not important, especially if the account has been compromised, right? So like we saw here, you know, SPF and D can pass fairly easily. So we have to be able to do comprehensive message analysis. We have to be able to understand what's in that email. Do we see a logo? Do we recognize that logo? And can we ask the other questions of, well, does this, the rest of the email belong to LinkedIn, right? So does the link take me to LinkedIn? Did it come out from uh, LinkedIn infrastructure? And finally, those detection models have to be adaptive, right? So they have to be able to understand, like I said, how these campaigns are set up such that if the attackers do change the link around or they shorten their links or use different services to pass these links through, right, that you can detect those. So if you need any more information on how we operate at Everyone, please feel free to reach us to us. You can reach us at everyonesecurity.com. Thank you and have a great day.